but gold has been a pretty brutal uh, downtrend the last few days, especially. Um, let's have a look at some of the technicals and fundamentals of what's going on with gold. So we see since back in um, April, we've been in a pretty uh, consistent downward trend channel here, testing the top a couple of times, heading now, we're heading back down towards the bottom there. Um, another technical indicator I'm looking at here is the Fibonacci levels, which drawn on from the Feb lows there up into the May highs. Uh, we see that um, there has been a little bit of chop around these levels. Uh, the 50% had a bit of support for a while, then the 61.8, we're back up, uh, back down. We've been playing between this 50 and 61, and we've had this big break here. Now this next level, really the next um, obvious support level is around this, uh, the February lows here, which is about 1803. Um, also that kind of coincides with that lower uh, trend line there. So this is where you'd expect gold to be drawn to. Um, we are very, very oversold in the RSI. So worth keeping an eye on that, that so most oversold has been um, as far back as I can see, back to July last year. Um, last time we were at those oversold levels, still had a little bit of a down before we turned around. So uh, worth keeping an eye on that, but I don't think it's gonna turn around just yet solely on those oversold levels. Um, another really important factor with gold here is, is that not just the technicals, but the fundamental reason. Now, if we have a look at um, the US 10 year yields, now gold competes with bonds. It's a safe haven, um, it's a non-yielding asset. So if bonds are yielding a high amount, it's, it puts pressure on the gold price to, um, I mean, it, bonds become more attractive to the safe haven traders than gold, which is why there's this inverse correlation between uh, yields and gold. And if I invert this yield, you can see how close that correlation is. So this is the yield inverted. So when the orange line is going down, it's actually yields going up. Um, it moves almost in lockstep. Now the 10 year yields have hit 17 year, 16 year highs. The, most people think they're gonna go higher. They might get up to 5% currently at 4.685. So there's probably a little bit more um, space downwards for gold. I would assume it's gonna get down to this low, this February low here first before it finds some support and this lower trend line. Um, but really it's gonna need these yields to top out uh, and start reversing. How far they can go, we don't know. The Fed has the higher for longer mantra and that's what the market's thinking, but um, you'd think that any too much higher in these yields or something will break in the market. So there could be a reversal at some stage in the near future, but um, keep an eye on this, this big level here, 1803, this bottom trend line, keep an eye on the 10 year yields too.